Hi, it's Chris again with CNH Auto Accessories here in SEMA Show in Las Vegas. And I'm going to show you some of the new Ford Broncos here. I just uh, test drove one and it was a lot of fun. So let's take a look at some of the ones that have got some really cool accessories. Give you some ideas of what you can do with it. Now, I'm not sure I'll be doing much with those, <laughs> especially living in Florida. But you know, I'll never know. It might work good in the Everglades. So what do I know, right? So let's take a look over here. Now, to be honest with you, I do not know all the models of the Ford Bronco at this time. But uh, just like anything else, as time progresses, I uh, will be doing more and more videos on the Ford Bronco, just like I do on other trucks. So let's take a look here. All right, let's see what they got on the roof here. Very interesting. Looks like it could be a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's take a look at some other Ford Broncos here. The Fun Runner. Well, I think it's an excellent name here. Let's take a look what they've done here. The two doors. I do like the fenders flaring out. I think it gives it a nice look. Let's see if I can step back a little further so we can get the whole. There we go. Now we can see a little better. Unfortunately, there is a lot of people here, so I do have to work around my surroundings so i'll do my best to videotape this for everybody this is again for everybody who's unable to make it to sema cnh has got you covered as you know i try to do as many videos on products that you've probably never seen before and of course you know doing videos of the actual vehicles you might not have seen before so let's take a look here let's see here now this tells you this is the bronco badlands two-door very sharp. Let's see if I can get a little better view inside here. Yeah, I don't think those Ricardo seats are stock. <laughs> All right, let's just see what we got going on here. Well, let's poke over here a little bit. As you can see, they they do plan on selling lots of accessories for this. And guess what? CNH plans on selling lots of accessories for the Ford Bronco as well. And I'm sure my prices would be a little better than Ford's. So let's take a look over here. Again, we got no Ford Bronco. Which model are we looking at today? This is the Banks Ford or Bronco Out Outer Bank. Sorry, my mistake. Again, I told you before, not so familiar with these yet. New product. Let's take a look here. Baja Forge. Okay. Let's see if I can swing around here and give you a, a full view here. Again, I'm not the only one at the show, so <laughs> I have to work with my surroundings. I'm hoping this is giving you a good idea what the Ford Bronco looks like. Okay, again, let's get a good look at the interior here. Let's see. I tell you, by the amount of people who are around this, I would say Ford's got a hit. I mean, these things are it's like a bees on a beehive right here. Everyone's really enjoying these Broncos. Let's take a look at another one here. Again, this is not a stock Bronco. This is something they made up for SEMA. This is a little, I guess, a little fire and rescue or fire department one. But you gotta admit, it's cool. I like it. Let's see. And look what they did to the back here. They made it uh, like a little two-door pickup truck. Hey, look at Cargo Glide, another product we sell at the store. So uh, I'm assuming this was a custom, but you never know. Cargo Glide makes a lot of good products. And I remember I did another SEMA video with Cargo Glide yesterday. Okay. Let's see what they got inside here. And it looks like you can uh, you can get a five-speed with this. Uh, how nice is that? All right, let's take a look what else we got going on over here. Here's another one here. Again, they have the doors off in this one, which is one of the things you can do with these. And again, what do we see? Another roof rack set up. That's right. 
I think Ford really has a winner here. I think uh, Jeep is probably a little concerned because they've been the uh, the king of the hill when it came to a uh, outdoor vehicles for a long time. Well, really, the only very few vehicles competed with Jeep. Uh, you had your Toyota Tacoma, really, and a few other models. But this is, I think, Ford is going to have a a real hit, and it's going to take some of the Wrangler sales. Because so, yes, Jeep has a lot of vehicles, but really the Wrangler and the you know the, uh, the JL and the JT they're really the only ones for off-roading. And from the looks at all this stuff, I think uh, I think all of these would be just fine for taking off-roading. And uh, I like I said, I was in it earlier today, and they did some stuff that I was really quite impressed with. I've been in many Jeeps over the years, and I have owned a Jeep myself. And I've done a lot of stuff in Jeeps, and when I went for a ride in that Ford earlier, uh, it was impressive. It really was. So, let's see if there's any other Broncos I can show. Yes, there's a couple more Broncos. Let's go over here. Okay. They really went all out with Broncos. I gotta say, at the show, it's like every booth has a Ford Bronco done up. And uh, what I like about these products, you can accessorize them. I mean, just all you have to do is come over here and take a look at the Ford booth and see all the things that they've done with this, you know? And I like, I like trucks, I like Jeeps, and I like Ford Broncos. Why? Because you can personalize them to yourself. Like for example, I own a Harley as well, and you know, you barely see Harleys all look alike because every person who buys one, they customize it to fit their personalities. And my truck's that way, and a lot of my truck club members they like to make their truck fit their personality I really believe the Ford Bronco is hitting that sweet spot where you can change it up still look like a Ford Bronco but make it look like your Ford Bronco something that fits your personality and just by looking at every one of these you would think there's a there's a dozen different models here and there is only four as far as I know so let's take a look at one more we got a red one over here and guys, He's looking for that paint job. Well, actually, there's a couple over here. Man, they really have a, quite a few. I love that paint job. I, don't, I doubt if that's stock. I mean, that has some metallic in it. It must be custom. <laughs> All right, let's see what they got going on with this one. All right, we got the Bronco Sport Badlands. And again, let's see if I can. Every time I try to step back, there's always someone right behind me. So I do apologize if I'm awful close to the vehicles. I'm trying to get as best view as possible under the circumstances. I don't know if you can see that sparkle in the light here, but that's really nice. My favorite word, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get what we got going on, on the roof here. Is got a little bump in the back, I'm assuming, for more headroom. And I got a little sunroof back there. That's okay. And it's got one little turn dials for the transmission, which is not my favorite thing, to be honest with you. So, let's take a look at the last one here. Again, this looks like a Florida one. I mean, I don't know if with the kayak on top, you know, as you know, I love the kayak. And I got the little safari basket and the Yakima racks, which, again, the Yakima racks, another product we sell. They gave it a really beachy look. And they got rigid lights on top. Again, more Yakima products, all the things I sell. Unfortunately, I don't sell the Bronco, but I sell the rest of the stuff. Let's take a look here. Let's see if I, again, I'm trying to step back for you guys so you can get a really good look at this. And they're really hitting that sweet spot. They really are. I mean, every model I sh I'm showing you today they're different they just like people's personalities man whatever you like it looks like it accommodate you got two doors and four doors which I do like as well I used to be a two-door man but uh, as I got older I found four doors a little bit more useful but I still like two doors and of course I love putting the racks on top and I mean just like this one here it's come similar things I've done with my own truck look here and this is the sport which is one of the smaller ones but it's not bad I mean I was expecting it to kind of look like you know one of the 
lower end, it really doesn't look that at all. I think, uh, again, I think it's going to sell really good. Well, it looks like that is the last of the Broncos I can find here at the Ford booth. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But again, this is Chris with C&H Auto Accessories in Market, Florida. But I'm coming from Las Vegas at the SEMA show. Thanks for watching.